And now we're going to look at the muscles along the spine. These are going to be the erector spinae muscles. Now these are actually a group um, of several muscles that run um, along the, the dorsal side of the cat right along the spine, hence the name erector spinae. So um, these muscles are responsible for maintaining, helping us to maintain posture. And so in order to see them, you actually need to remove a dense, irregular connective tissue. All right, so it's already been removed here so that you can see the muscles. Um, but in terms of, of how to get to this connective tissue, uh, the loose connective tissue that you removed at the very beginning will help you get to this. And it'll look white, like it looks here. Um, but you won't, when you get down to this level, you will not be able to just use your forceps. Um, to clear this off. It's just too dense. And so what you'll need to do is to create a little window like I've already done and you'll do that with your, with your scalpel. And so you'll just create a window um, along uh, just I guess maybe an inch and a half um, inch square window um, to reveal those muscles. I'll do this again up here just so you can see when you first make the cut, um, there's actually a double layer of connective tissue. So that first cut will actually probably just get you through that first layer. Um, and so again, just using the forceps uh, and the scalpel, I can create um, an opening here. All right, and so this is the dense, irregular connective tissue. So this is just the first layer, and so then there's another layer that will also need to be removed to actually get to those muscles. And again, the forceps will come in handy here to help you get through so as to reveal those muscles. All right, so these are the erector spinae.